So that was Travel One Squadron, Black Arrows team led by Squadron Leader Roger Top. Not just that, but they then roll 16 of them in formation, another incredible feat. <laughs> but that quality of performance always apparent in the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team's efforts. <laughs> And so the Hawks of the Red Arrows about to roll and get into the air and once they're airborne you'll be hearing from the new Red 10 squadron leader Adam Collins. <laughs> showing the patriotic red, white and blue colours as they depart off to our left hand side now they'll be positioning behind us testing the smoke system, fitting out the jets and getting ready to start the display well it's my privilege to talk to you this afternoon in this the centenary year of the Royal Air Force I'm going to describe the manoeuvres to you during the display I'll let you hear some of Red One's radio transmission and I'll give you some background information on the team and the pilots. Well, this is a very significant year for the Royal Air Force. It's our centenary year, having been formed on the 1st of April 1918 as the world's first independent air force. There are many events going on up and down the country throughout the summer. You have seen the fly past in London on Tuesday, and we're celebrating our centenary by commemorating the rich history of the Royal <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Let's have a big cheer for the 2018 Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team, the Red Arrows! Overhead in big battle formation, training patriotic red, white, and blue smoke. Red one pulls them up as they move into short diamond formation over the top of the loop. Apexing at around 6,000 feet, the aircraft will descend the distinctive hawk platform visible against the blue sky as they descend with red one about to twist the formation to the right. Red one is squad leader Martin Kurt. Martin is a former Harrier and Typhoon pilot. He's previously served on the team and is in his first year as Red One. Typhoon goes as Red One as the smokes of four, five, eight, and nine come on. The edges of diamond sweeping back, ready to form the wings of the aircraft you've already seen displayed today. It's our current multi-role fighter aircraft based at Coningsby and Lossy Mouth, currently on operations in the Middle East and defending the UK sky 24 hours a day, it's Typhoon. Get those cameras ready for the Typhoon roll. Right. 
Lightning goes, says Red One. The smoke comes on with four and five. The jet's moving forward. About to represent another aircraft you've seen already today. Arriving in Marham a couple of weeks ago to start its RAF service in the UK. The Lightning, a fifth generation stealth aircraft capable of simultaneous air to ground, air to air and electronic warfare missions. As the nose lights come on towards us, the smoke is about to come on for the lightning loop. As the jets approach their apex in the lightning loop, on the right hand wing is Red 4 by the Chris Lindsay Smith. Chris is a former Tornado GR4 pilot and Hawk T1 instructor and he joins the team on his second floor with the Red Arrows in his second year. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lightning. Lightning moves off to our right hand side, the smoke comes back on, Red One moving the formation into their next position. This one a very technically difficult formation for the pilots to fly. The aircraft forming into six line abreast with Red Six and Seven tucked in behind. This is Phoenix. <laughs> on the left of Red One in Phoenix is Red Three, squadron leader Mike Lane. Mike is a former display pilot in the team before being six years as Red 10 and returns to the team as Red 3 for the 2018 season. We're just about to, to come on, get your cameras ready for the Phoenix Prison. Red One as Phoenix moves off to our right hand side. Red One bending the formation round to the right. About to move into the next position. Diamond Go calls Red One. The smoke comes back on. The wings of Phoenix are going to sweep back into our trademark formation that's seen on all the Red Arrows crests that we wear on our arms. The motto of Red Arrows is Ekla, which means excellence. And the team both in the air, on the ground, strive for excellence in everything that we do. As the nose lights come back towards us, the smoke's about to come on. Get ready for the diamond roll. Apex from their roll at 3,000 feet. On the left wing, we have Red 5 by Lieutenant Dan Lowe. Dan is a former Typhoon pilot and rocket instructor. Joining the team for his second year. As Diamond moves off to our left hand side, we're about to have my favourite manoeuvre of the sequence, and I'm sure many of you will agree. This one always gets a good reaction at the air shows. As Red One moves Diamond round to the left hand side, we're about to perform the manoeuvre that represents the combat aircraft leaving service shortly from the Royal Air Force, having been the mainstay of operations for the past three decades. Red 8 and 9 have moved to the back of the formation. Red 1 brings them round in the left-hand bend. He'll take air brake, he'll take smoke. 
It's time to get those cameras ready for Tornado. Let's listen to how excited Red Nine is today as he calls aboard for the start of the manoeuvre. Get those cameras ready. Our board calls Red Nine as Red Eight and Nine put the red and blue smoke on and roll around the smokes of the rest of the formation. Red One about to bend the formation to the left with the smoke colour changing. This is Tornado. Tornado finishes and moves off to our right hand side. Well, the end of the Tornado maneuver, ladies and gentlemen, means we're approaching the end of the first half of the display. As it's the centenary of the Royal Air Force, our 100th anniversary, you're about to see the first big split of the display. Get the cameras ready, get the lenses zoomed right out. The Jets are running in for the Centenary Split. And pulling up calls Red 1, Red 6 and 7 staying low. The Jets about to split into a huge palm with a synchro pair staying low. are about to descend down to 100 feet with a closing speed of over 700 miles an hour, Red 6 and 7. About to do four point rolls as Red 8 and 9 pull to the vertical. This is the Jippo Pass. Red and blue comes on, 
eight and nine, about to roll around. Red six down the middle. This is Vortex. Synchro lead next year. Again with a closing speed of over 700 miles an hour, the jets pull towards each other. They're about to do on position barrel rolls. Finish there off barrel with the red and blue smoke on. Pitching back. Eyes to the front and left. As red one leads the rest of the formation in, the smoke is on. They're pulling up. And resume down to get ready for the vertical break. <laughs> Break, break, go for red one as they pull down from the vertical break. <laughs> the white smoke on as the jets come out. As the white smoke comes off, look left and right again for the synchro pair, running in for the next of their opposition manoeuvres. They're about to barrel roll towards each other before crossing in front of us three times. In a tight 6G circle in the circus. Fighting the G forces as they go around the circle. This maneuver is named after the engineers that fly in the back seat of our aircraft between displays and is dedicated to Circus and to JB. The nose lights are on, red one's about to turn the smoke on. Enid are going to pull up and do a snake-like map of two barrel rolls in the sky. Look straight ahead for Python. As red one leads the aircraft in the first barrel roll, he's flying in leader's benefit formation with red one at the front and red two, three, four and five in line of rest behind it. And red one pulls up, ready for the second of the pies and rolls. The team would like to send their best wishes to Spencer Blessing and his family. Red 6 and 7 about to roll inverted, Red 8 and 9 will colour smoke and roll around 6 and 7. 
This is the corkscrew. to the outside of the formation, changing smoke colour as they go in the rollbacks. Two and three roll goes, says red one, as they start their rollbacks. We are going for two and three, the signal for four and changes to white and Enid move off to our right hand side look straight ahead now the smoke of Jippo is about to come on as the four nose lights come straight towards us red eight and nine about to roll around the formation red six and seven then doing their own rolls before splitting get those cameras ready it's time for the fabulous Jippo break
Lord, and we hope you inspire the younger generation to hear the audience today. And we'd like to thank you for your support for the British Armed Forces, for the Royal Air Force. And all that remains for me to say is to wish you all the very best from the RAF and from all of us at the Red Arrows. Thank you very much, Squadron Leader Adam Collins, Red 10, and the rest of the team. What a wonderful way to help celebrate RAF 100 here at React this weekend. A quick update on the flying programme for you. We'll be underway shortly with the next display item. The surprise item that I mentioned that's coming up later today will now be with us. We expect at five past four, so five past four for that surprise item. But now, I believe George Bacon has some announcements. Uh, yes, thanks very much. Thanks very much, Fred. Uh, they're doing very well. Uh, uh, tremendous uh, introduction there, but uh, just keeping everybody up to speed what's going on. I suspect many of uh, uh, you, and including the youngsters, would very much like to go and meet the Red Arrows now that you've seen that fabulous display. Well, the next signing is at 1.30, okay? It goes on for 45 minutes. But to get in, you've got to go to the RF experience area and pick up a ticket first. Now, many of these may already have been collected, and uh, you can get two people in per ticket. And uh, due to demand, that's why this is being introduced. Now, they're available right now uh, for the start of each session on all of the uh, days that we're running now. They know if you're going to go, of course. And uh, just go along then to the RF experience area. Let's go again. Next signing at uh, 1.30. Uh, now, meanwhile, you might like to capture uh, memories of these uh, fabulous areas you've been watching, and as the two uh, has uh, already invited once again Plains TV here to uh, join us and make sure that they officially record everything on their air to DVD and uh, Blu-ray. And that includes, of course, a two-disc collector's item, and they've got six cameras on the ground, and the majority of displays are also carrying onboard GoPro cameras, so it's going to be an outstanding DVD for you. Uh, that will include also uh, some uh, feedback and, uh, of course, a recording of the uh, fabulous fly park in London last Tuesday. Now, the standard edition DVD is £25, the Blu-ray is just uh, £30, and uh, you can do that all in all today and collect your free DVD from one of the TV stores, or you can also order the official merchandise unit for PlainTV.com. Now, it goes without saying uh, that uh, the wonderful uh, British summer is still uh, with us again and the sun is still very, very strong. So please, everyone, do take uh, notice of this, and particularly the children, make sure they've got hats on, plenty of sunscreen, and of course you have plenty of fluid uh, for them to drink as well. And a reminder to uh, keep all your belongings with you at all stages throughout the course of the afternoon. Now, don't forget, there's a lot going on behind you as well. Right through the showground, we've got some uh, tremendous uh, zone speed as it is. Uh, top of my list has always been the uh, techno zone, uh, which is just full of really exciting hands-on uh, equipment uh, to have a go at. And I think we've had a play myself, but there's the activity zone as well, again, for all uh, ages, uh, mini Land Rovers, travelling, skate, and sort of things there, the auto drone. Uh,